Tell us a little bit more about One Billion Rising. Um, well, last year at the V-Day Symposium, which was um, the organization which was founded by Eve Entler, who wrote the Vagina Monologues, yeah. <coughs> and, and over the last, I'd say, decade or so, she's helped, um, at least she's raised about $150 million for different communities from around the world to aid women. So in war zone areas, in the Congo, she's done phenomenal work. Um, in East and West Africa, where female ge genital mutilation is a serious issue, she's created homes and schools for children and young girls to go to um, and, and basically save homes. Yeah. And <clears throat> she had this vision that by, if, if we got a million people around the world, as you, you mentioned the statistics early on, that approximately one billion women would have either been raped or abused or affected by abuse in their lifetime, if we could get one billion people around the world to rise up against abuse. And everyone talks about, well, abuse, yes, it's such a negative, mm -hmm. negative subject and so forth, and people are tired and so yeah. forth. It will, the abusers are also tired. But this, this campaign is very, very different in the sense that we're going to be rising up in celebration of ourselves, yeah. in celebration of this is who we are, and we're not going to take it anymore. Mm -hmm. And it's not just about women. It's about anybody who stands against abuse. Now, how did you get involved in all of this? Wow. Um, I did Vagina Monologues over 10 years ago. That basically catapulted my, um, my activism career. From then on, I did a lot of work for power, and I stood on the board for power. And um, a lot of my work has been done, centered through what, what Eve ends his writings about. We just did a phenomenal performance on Sunday evening at the Vitz Theatre of the Vagina Monologues, yeah. um, which was sold out, and we've raised nearly 20,000 Rand for power. Fantastic. Um, and so I got involved with them because I was also at the symposium last year and, and seeing what we can do around Johannesburg and within South Africa. And so far on Thursday, we're going to be at the Constitution Hill, who are our partners on the day. We're going to be having poets. We're going to be having singers. Um, Eve Enzel also created a, a, a young um, campaign, a young group for young girls of South Africa, or young girls around the world called V Girls. Yeah. They're going to be doing flash mobs on different campuses. Um, in Soweto on Saturday, they're going to be there in Constitution Hill. We're going to have poets. We're going to have um, speakers. We're going to have activists. Basically, everybody who stands up against abuse. You know, it's, it's, it's amazing. And, I, and, I, and we talk about over 197 countries around the mm. world that are recognizing this and that are participating in it but yeah. you know when we look back at this at this last week that we had where mm. Anian Boysen mm. was brutally raped mutilated yeah. and now left for dead yeah um, you know one can only look at South Africa and say we possibly have the worst rate mm. in the world. Yeah. And I mean, that is, uh, that's nothing to be proud of and certainly something to shout out about even more. Absolutely. And it's interesting because on the radio today, somebody called in and they were discussing this and they said, well, the government needs to do something. Yes, yeah. the government needs to do something. But each and every individual, not only in South Africa, around the world, needs to take a stand. Even to the, expect, uh, to, 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 to the level of when somebody makes a silly joke, it's about your conscious thought on what you think abuse is or what you think, or why you would think something about this it would be funny. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it's taking that conscious level back and actually just looking out for the next person. You know, somebody said um, in the old days it took a village to raise a child. Uh, we can't because we've got uncles in that village who are raping our children and women. Yeah. So you need to take heed, see who's next to you, see who's, who's not held accountable and shift them, out and shift them back into position. Uh, that was my question to you. How do we help? You know, mm. uh, ever since last week, doesn't matter where you go, this yeah. conversation comes up and yeah. people are talking about it, people are upset. Mm. But the one thing that comes out from everybody's mouth is, yeah. how do I help? Yeah. Because, you know, I, I don't rape people and I do my best to raise my children in the best way that mm. I can. So, so how do I try and help the situation? You know, I, as I said, the conscious thought is that, is that be aware and be vigilant. Um, whistleblowing for me is also just another, another key factor. Yeah. If you look at Rwanda, it's the safest country in Africa. Women can walk around at 2 o'clock in the morning, and if somebody even dares to snatch their handbag away or raise their hand, somebody will, will blow that person out. You know, so it's, it's, it's about the next person watching out for, for, the, for, for your neighbors, for, for your children, for your wives, for, yeah. for, for your next person. Um, and, and, and they're not, not being scared to take a stand. Yeah, people are scared here. Yeah, yeah. people you know, are scared. And also see. men, don't be afraid. You know, and at the, at men need to realize that woman abuse is not a woman's issue. Yeah. It's a global issue. Yeah. Unfortunately, it's a lot of men out there who are doing it. And we would rather we salute and, ra and praise the men who aren't doing it and who are taking a stand. All right. Well, <laughs> let's, let's now talk about One Billion Rising. Yeah. It's happening on Valentine's mm -hmm. Day, which is an... We reclaim very, Valentine's Day. Very Taking coincidental. away from the commercial aspect. And it's not necessarily all negative, because yeah, I was on the website positive. reading it. It's dancing. Mm. It's do if you what look do you at, do? If, How do you participate? If you look at the website, it's www.onebillionrising.org. Mm. There's a dance. You can download the dance, learn the dance. Um, Neo community, the dance community um, around the world have come on board. 
board. They're doing an event at their studios. You can dance in the street. You can dance in your bathroom. You can dance wherever. But, but One Billion Rising and, and OBR Day is all about a celebration of who we are. Yeah. It, we not, yes, we might have poets and we're going to have speakers, but we're not protesting and screaming and shouting. We're going to be screaming and shouting in joy. It's a celebration. Um, at Con Hill, they're going to be flash mobs. Um, in Soweto, they're going to be flash mobs on Saturday and Sunday. Um, even in Durban, there's, there's a pole dancing community or even doing something. So t this, this and anyone can do it. Okay. So if you are a corporate company, you want to do something, take out an hour uh, where your, your, your staff will just be dancing to, to in, 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 um, for, the, for the campaign. Fantastic. So all details are on that website. Yeah, onebillionrising.org. And it's all part of the V-Day movement. Dear Stan, thank you so, so thank much you. for joining us on Morning Live. Keep up the great work. And it's just a... It, it's, it's a vital thing that we need to do yeah. here in South Africa, make everyone aware. So uh, thanks again for joining us. Thank you. Uh, here we go. We're going to number two. Are we going to...